In this video, I'm going to show you a very detailed step-by-step -step process of how I set up and maintain my Stay Wet palette for acrylic painting. Now, what if I had wanted to save these acrylic mixtures? Well, there's several ways to do it, and one is to use a Masterson Stay Wet palette. And I have several of these Masterson's palette boxes in different sizes, and some of them are specifically made for acrylic paints and come with some accessories, which is some special palette paper and a sponge. So the sponge fits inside the palette and then the palette paper goes on top. Um, but it has some instructions to prepare the sponge and the paper so that they will stay wet. The directions say the first thing to do is to prepare the paper in hot water. So there are several ways they suggest to do this. You can put it in the sink and use very hot tap water um, and fill up the sink and let it soak for 15 minutes. Um, they also have instructions for using a microwave to do it. I'm actually going to use my electric kettle to heat up some water and then pour the water into this pan. So I've placed a folded up towel underneath the pan so that it doesn't melt my table, which may not be a problem, but just in case. And then I'll place a sheet of the palette paper inside. So now my water is hot and I will pour some into the pan until it covers the paper. And I have had trouble with it floating, so I'm just going to try pressing it down with a palette knife to see if I can get it to stay in the bottom. So I had to do that for about a minute, keep pressing it down, but now I think it's kind of formed a, a vacuum seal with the bottom of the pan, so it seems to be staying submerged. So I'm going to leave that for about 15 minutes, and I'll be back. Now that the paper has been soaking for about 15 minutes, um, we're going to prepare the sponge. The sponge needs to be rinsed first thoroughly under running water, um, and that apparently removes the additives used in manufacturing according to the directions. So we're going to rinse it under running water, and then we're going to fully saturate it with cold water from the tap, and then wring out about half of the water. Then we're going to place it in our palette box and we're going to place it smooth side up. So there's two sides. There's this side and there's this side which is textured with little diamonds. So we want to have this side up rather than this side in the box. So as you can see, this palette box has had quite a bit of use. This is one of the smaller ones. They also have a fuller size, I believe it's 12 by 16 box. Um, and this is a smaller one and I have several of these. This one has been used for multiple purposes, including oil paint palettes, and so this um, paint has all dried. It's pretty old, so um, I'm just going to... I kind of wiped it out to make sure there was no loose paint, but I'm going to just leave it the way it is and um, now use it for an acrylic palette. Now, one thing that may concern you is that the sponge appears to not quite fit inside the box. It appears to be a little bit wider, and when you try to force it in, it kind of buckles. But that's not so much of a problem once you wet the sponge. So once we wet this sponge, it should kind of conform itself to the shape of the inside of the box. So first I'm going to rinse this thoroughly. Now I'm going to fully saturate it with cold water and then wring out about half of the water. 
going to place the wet sponge into my box and it's going to be diamond side down or smooth side up. And as you can see it conforms to the shape of the box quite nicely. It's not buckling at all. Now I will place a piece of the palette paper onto the sponge. And this does seem to be just slightly snug in the palette box, so it's a l maybe a little bit too big, but not so much that I can't simply press it down and the edges just curve up a little bit around the walls of the box. Then it says to blot excess moisture with a paper towel. And then it's ready for paint. Now that my Stay Wet palette is ready, I can squeeze out some paint. And you'll notice that the uh, Van Dyke Brown is an open acrylic and it's a slow drying acrylic. So in that case, I may not actually need a, a Stay Wet palette, but for my project, I'm only using a very small amount of this um, and the others, I wanted them to be the quick drying because. Now I'm planning to use the Stay Wet palette mostly to hold the paint and the paint mixtures that I make, but not so much for mixing on. It can be used for that, but I'm going to mix on a sheet of gray palette paper. So if I'm going to store my acrylic paints in the Stay Wet palette for more than a few minutes or, you know, more than half an hour, I want to squeeze out some of the water from the sponge. So if, I don't know if you can, you can see there's a little bit of bleeding around some of the paints and if I stored them with the sponge fully saturated like this, well it wasn't fully saturated but um, you know as saturated as it is with water, there will be more bleeding and my paints will be very liquidy when I come to next work. So I'm going to just very carefully lift off the palette paper. And then take the sponge and just so maybe I'll do it like this. So you can see it does stain, but it can be washed. So I'm just going to squeeze out a little bit of the water. Not all of it, but enough so that the um Try to put it on the same way so that the stains match up with the paint. Um, enough so that the water doesn't seep up into the paint. It just keeps it slightly damp. Now I'll put the palette paper back on. And I want to make sure that the paper itself hasn't been drying up anywhere, that it's still damp all over. And then I'll put the lid on and and it should stay fresh and moist until next time. And you do want to store this flat so you don't want to be tipping it or storing it vertically or sideways. It should be flat otherwise the paint will run. So it sat overnight and I had squeezed out quite a bit of the water from the sponge before I put the lid on to store it. However, it it was just too wet for this poor little puddle of um, open acrylics, which is a slow drying acrylic. And so I think if I were to store slow drying acrylics in with the rest of my acrylic paint in this box, I think that I would maybe put a piece of regular palette paper to kind of block the the water so that it didn't seep up through the um, Stay Wet palette paper and that might help. It also, I might also just 
be better off storing it in a separate box without any water involved. Just um, keep it sealed in a box and the uh, golden open acrylics should stay fresh because they're a slow drying acrylic. But the rest of the paint seems to be looking pretty good. It's maybe a little more liquidy than when I started out, but it's um, not too bad. It hasn't run or puddled too much, just a little bit. I'm not going to add any more water at this point to the sponge. It may need um, more because now that the lid is open, some of the water will evaporate off of the paper. Um, so I'll keep an eye on it and um, if I see the edges or any part starting to dry up, I'll uh, lift up the paper and add a little bit more water, or I could also spray from the top, spray a little bit of water onto the paper from the top. I'm just going to take a moment to check my palette, and it looks like this center area here is starting to dry out. So it's a little bit lighter um, than the areas that are wet, and when I touch it, it feels a little bit dry. I did put a little more water in this area right under where I was where my new mixture is um, but I think I'm going to add a little bit more um, to this center area here because once the paper dries out completely it needs to be retreated, um, you know, re-soaked. So I don't want that to happen. So um, I might check my sponge also underneath the paper, but I think um, it just needs a little more water generally. And then of course <laughs> my little water um, pot here it needs to be cleaned out. Um, and this is a, I like this, it's a collapsible water pot, so it's kind of nice to travel with if you um, kind of collapse it down and uh, put it into a bag. This is my little water pot, and it's collapsible, so this part folds in on itself if you just push down. And then it's um, more compact and portable, so you can take it with you or pack it if you're going on a trip. Um, so I'm just going to refill this with water, and I'll be right back. So I'm just going to remove the palette paper and set it to the side. And I can feel it does feel quite dry, even over here, not just in the center. There's just a little wet spot where I added a little water before I um, mixed up this most recent paint mixture. It's still damp enough that I think it will be fine. I don't think I need to re-soak it, um, but I want to definitely get some more water in here. And the sponge feels just barely damp, so I can definitely afford to add some more water. And um, I'm just going to, I know this is strange, but I'm just going to uh, take a sniff and see if it smells at all like it might be threatening to develop mildew or anything like that. Um, if it does, I would add a little bit of hydrogen peroxide as the directions indicate. Um, and I may do that as a preventative measure anyway, um, but I need to prepare it first and uh, get a spray bottle to apply it. So um, first I'm just going to add a little bit of plain water. So you could do this with a spray bottle as well, but I'm just going to use a folded up paper towel and um, use it to kind of apply some moisture to the sponge. I could also rinse this out and then wring it out really well, removing most of the moisture, but still leaving enough in that it has more than it does now. And I'm just kind of pressing the paper towel into the sponge just to get it moistened just enough that the paper won't dry out. Now I think what I'll do is I'll do the same thing to the back of the paper. I'm using heavy body acrylics, so, um, and then of course this poor little puddle of um, the slow drying acrylics has already soaked into the paper pretty much completely. So basically there's nothing that's going to run um, on my palette. It's all solid enough that it's not going to drip down if I just very quickly moisten the back of this. So I guess I'll do it this way so you can see. 
Um, I'm just going to moisten my paper towel again and squeeze out a little bit of the water so it's not dripping wet. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of water on the back um, where some of these mixtures are just to dampen it so not so that it's dripping wet. And then I'll put the paper back on the sponge. Just see. I think I had it in this way, so I'll do that again. So that way I wet the back of the paper behind these paint mixtures so that um, even though I'm going to do it now also on the front of the paper, I obviously can't put this paper towel over the mixtures, so I'm kind of going at it from both sides. This way also, instead of using the spray bottle, um, I mean the spray bottle would probably be more efficient, but this way I'm not actually spraying water onto my mixtures, which I found kind of causes them to puddle up a bit. All right, so hopefully that will be good. And what I'm going to do is, um, because I've had this open um, right under my heating vent, so that's contributed to the drying out and evaporation of the water. So I'm going to go ahead and cover this now, and that will, I think that should kind of equalize the the water, the moisture in the interior of the box, so it'll give the um, water some time to absorb more evenly into the sponge and the paper.